Hey guys, today on Bachelor on a Budget, we're making a delicious butternut squash soup with coconut milk. Let's get started. Be careful about these little spiky bits. Uh, they're quite pointy and they're kind of microscopic, but they'll get into your fingers. So this is quite a big piece of squash, so I'm not gonna need all of this, so. Just gonna cut that in half. And then we're that. And look, it's got brains. So, I'm just gonna scoop that out. And then we'll chop this up even smaller. You're gonna want a sharp knife for this. Okay, I got this pan on at medium high, and we're just gonna drop in a couple tablespoons of butter. It's quite a bit, but I'm making quite a lot. Uh, probably get about eight portions out of this because I plan on freezing some and just having leftovers. And then right away, we're just pretty much gonna get in our onions. Which was like one large onion. Uh, about two cloves of garlic, chopped. And our squash. That's about eight cups of squash. I did prep more, but uh, I'm just gonna save that for roasting, because uh, that was a really huge squash. And throw that in. And I find this is easier than uh, oven roasting. That's just an extra step. Um, and if you saute it, I feel like you can get more uh, control, and more control can be more flavor. So we're gonna let that brown on the outside, then kind of steam, and then we're gonna add some liquids to it. Then we'll add about a tablespoon of salt. Maybe just under. A tablespoon's a lot. You can always add more. And about three quarters of a tablespoon. Okay, a tablespoon of thyme. And then for a bit of spice, I'm adding a couple chili flakes. Totally optional. And you know my favorite ingredient, paprika. Just adding a bit of that for some color so we get a nice vibrant orange. I definitely added cayenne instead of paprika. It's gonna be a hot one. We also want this to caramelize a bit. Uh, nice, I'm looking for a bit of a sweet flavor. So I'm gonna add a bit of sugar. You can use palm sugar, brown sugar, or simply white sugar. I'm just going with white sugar right now because it's on my cover. So I'm gonna go let that brown for about 10 minutes, uh, moving it around every once in a while, and then add the liquids. And then we're gonna leave it to set for about an hour. Um, and then we're also gonna add some chicken, get a little protein going in there. Okay, that's starting to brown and soften up a bit. Okay, time to add a cup of the stock. And we may as well go in with our coconut milk. Gonna save a bit for garnish. You'll see. So good already. I'm gonna lower the heat down, down to medium low, crack a lid on it, and look, that's it. Maybe I don't need a whole hour, but uh, we're gonna start off with about at least uh, 25 minutes. So yeah, let that sit. Keep an eye on it. Let those flavors work together. Okay, let's check this out. It's only been about uh, 15 minutes, but just want to make sure. Ooh, we got a ferocious boil going. And you know what? I was going to blend these, uh, but I'm actually just going to let it break down in here, and it'll be nice to have some of these chunks. And I'll mash it a bit just to thicken it up, but yeah, no blender necessary. I'm going to get my four chicken thighs in there. And this dish is pretty much going to be done when this chicken's done cooking. I'll give it about 10 minutes or so and then check the chicken. Okay, time to check this out. Mm. 
Okay, just gonna prep some cilantro. That'll be a nice garnish. Okay, I think this guy is done. And remember that garnish. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm gonna go eat this delicious soup with my girlfriend. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Bye guys.